Wale SA has been an absolute tear this year. Year to date, the stock is up 50.83%. That's an amazing run considering how the stock market has been in shambles over the couple weeks. And some of the factors that have led to this growth of Wale is actually coming out of these crisis situation that has happened across the world. In today's video, we will take a look at couple of factors that are setting up perfectly for Wale and how Wale is going to gain in the coming months and years. And also we'll take a look at the technical chart to look at the current resistance and the support levels and how you can trade Wale if you want to trade. And lastly, I'll give you an update on the Wale options that we have been playing for a couple of months now. So if you find any value out of today's video, leave that like and without further ado, Let's dive in. All right, let's jump directly into the charts and see how Wale has been performing in the year to date as well as the last month or so. So year to date, Wale is up 50.83%. In the last one month, Wale has been up about 5.84%. We did see the dip around to the lowest of $17.50. But since the last couple of weeks, Wale has been steadily growing. Now, the primary reason for that growth has been attributed to the iron ore prices, which we see a direct correlation with Wale stock. So year to date, iron ore prices are up 42% and Wale is up 50.83%. The last month, iron ore was up 9.4% and Wale stock price was up about 5.8%. So this gives you a very clear idea on how you can track Wale and its stock price movement. So always take iron ore prices into your calculation whenever you are predicting uh, a trade for Wale or an investment for Wale. So on this channel, we have been talking about Wale since September of 2021, and we took Wale as one of our plays for our public portfolio. And you can look at any public portfolio video we have covered Wale. Now I went above and beyond and I started delving myself more into the options play for Wale. And there are a couple of videos around that as well. So you can take a look at the entire playlist of Wale. Now there are two major catalysts that have popped up recently that is helping Wale go up. Now as I talked about the iron ore prices going up and Wale stock also correlating to that price chart, the first catalyst is the China's demand for iron ore. So post lockdown, it is expected that China's iron ore demand is going to skyrocket and that is actually being priced within Wale stock price currently. In the article they talk about the optimism over prospects of additional policy support to shore up the world's second largest economy and biggest steel producer and the signs of a resilient Chinese industrial sector have provided strong support to the iron ore. In addition, the article also talks about Fitch Solutions Country Risk and Industry Research expects iron ore production across Asia Pacific to rise from 2.16 billion tons in 2022 to 2.27 billion tons in 2025, after which the analyst said it will enter a structural decline, falling to 2.17 billion tons by 2031. Based on this prediction, we can see that Wale stock price can gain in the next three years because the iron ore demand will go up, which will also lead up to the higher iron ore prices. Now the second biggest catalyst for Wale is the Tesla Inc. secret multi-year nickel supply deal with Wale. Now I will be very honest, I had missed this news last week because I was traveling. However, one of our watchers in the community did point it out that Tesla recently signed a deal with Wally and they wanted to know how the stock price will react. This came out around March 30th, it's a couple days ago. And looking into this article, we have not had any confirmation either from Tesla or Wally at this point in time. But CEO Elon Musk did promise 2020 giant contracts to companies able to produce nickel in an environmentally sensitive way. Now, now, if you have been following Wale for a while now, you would know that Wale has been very focused on improving its impact on the environment itself. And you can take a look into their earnings reports and their presentation that you will see a lot of material on how their carbon footprint is reducing, how they are making things much more smarter to improve the environmental factors. From an electric vehicle standpoint, nickel plays a very big role. Russia accounts for about 17% of the global production capacity of class one nickel, which is used in the electric vehicles. Some of the other big play players are China 20%, Japan 14%, Canada 12%, Australia 10% and all the other countries combined come to about 27%. Now one of the talks about is with sanctions on Russia, Russia is out of this equation which leaves all the other major players like Japan, China, Canada, Australia and of course other parts of the world. Now why Wally is 
actually set up in that perspective is because Wally is the world's top nickel producer with mine and operations in Brazil, Canada, Indonesia, as well as fully owned and joint venture refineries in China, South Korea, Japan, UK, and Taiwan. So they have much more wider presence with this nickel supply and they can be a bigger supplier to Tesla as well as other electric vehicles because electric vehicle is the revolution. It is coming to us. It's actually here. It's not even coming to us. It is right here right now we see more and more electric cars on the road these days canada and indonesia accounts for much more nickel supply as opposed to brazil so there you go those are the two major reasons why wally stock has been going up recently as well as it expected to grow further into 2022 and beyond now always keep in mind if you're investing in wally always track your iron ore prices because that will give you a very good indication of how the wally stock is going to perform on the one day chart the wally stock price has broken through all our resistance level here and it's slow and steadily climbing up up to the $21 mark. Zooming out a little bit further, where will we find the next resistance level? Wally had its all-time high back in the 2004 around $32.24. So if you are going to be trading Wally, you have to understand that no stock will continue to go up for the rest of the time and we will see some pullbacks. However, there are some resistance and support levels that you can draw on the chart to see how you can trade Wally. So right now, we can see about 2691 is going to be our next resistance level for Wale to climb. Now, I don't expect Wale to jump about between 35 and 40 percent right off the bat and go to that level. So I do expect that Wale will have some kind of pullbacks around this one because on the daily chart, we can see that Wale has been making higher highs and higher lows. That clearly gives you an indication that the momentum is on the positive trend. It is an ascending channel right now. Also keep in mind that Wally is a cyclical stock. So when the commodity prices are high, the stock will be up. When the commodity prices are low, the stock will be low as well. So keep that in mind if you are trading Wally and if you are investing in Wally for long term or mid term. And the last update is our Wally call option for January 2023. Uh, we are up 376% at the time of the recording. And for January 19, 2024 call, we are up 276%. These calls we had bought last Last year in September and in our public portfolio Wale is up 37.42 percent with a gain of about 68 dollars from a portfolio standpoint so if you want to know how Wale keeps performing in our public portfolio so definitely check out my last month's update the next month update is going to be coming out in the coming days as well so let me know in the comments if you are an investor in Wale do you trade do you invest would love to know your thoughts if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit the like click on subscribe and ring the bell notification I will see you next time, Investor Family, but don't forget to invest for tomorrow.